You guys just stay right there. Don't make any sudden movements. Don't jump or anything else. <laughs> You'll be okay. Hey guys, welcome to another video. I've been outside waiting for about 15 minutes for our AC to turn off. It's nearly 110 degrees out. Um, so it, oh, there it goes. Okay, now's our time. <laughs> Today I'm just going to chat with you about my cheek. So I've had a lot of questions and a lot of comments um, about my cheek. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with your cheek? Uh, do you have a tooth abscess? I mean, I believe me, I've had this for 33 years since I was born, so I've heard it all. So long story short, uh, I was born with this on my cheek. Um, I don't know, I, you can see it. I have my hair up today, so that's why I kind of wanted to film this, but um, doctors called it a hemangioma. If you don't know what that is, please just Google it. Now, I don't have any uh, redness. Usually when you see someone with a hemangioma, um, there is some redness there. And I meant to say, I'm gonna shuck some glass gym corn uh, while we're chatting, just cause it's kind of fun to see how the ears did. But um, since I was born, uh, all these blood vessels and veins uh, were formed in the side of my face. And basically, this is a good one. That's a pretty good one there. This is Glass Gym Corn from Baker Creek. <laughs> uh, so essentially all of, or there's actually, it's a bunch of extra facial um, veins and um, blood vessels that are formed in just a lump in my cheek. So the last time I believe, just based on what my parents told me, the last time I believe that it was checked out was when I was two. And they basically said that, because uh, when I was little it was obviously, it was the same size as it is right now, but on a baby's head. So it was significantly larger. So I didn't really grow into, well, I did grow into it, but it didn't get any smaller. So it's the same size. And so it's still pretty significant. I mean, anybody can see it really. And recently, so about a year ago, this is another reason why I hadn't been on YouTube for a while is because I did go to the doctor to get it checked out again, just to kind of see, you know, could I have it removed? Was there any situations going on with it? Like, and it doesn't hurt or anything. Um, if I do get hit there, it does ache a little bit, um, but obviously it's just a big bunch of blood vessels and veins, so it should hurt a little bit. This one didn't do as well. <laughs> so when I went to the doctor, basically I asked him, is there anything serious about it? Is there anything we could do to remove it? And basically to have it removed, there are two options. They could go in through my thigh, through one vein, go all the way up into my cheek and try to remove it. The other option he explained was that they would have to basically cut the side of my face off. Um, he would have to start up here and cut, or I think it was actually this way. It was all the way at the top here, all along the hairline and then down my jaw. And they would have to basically peel my face off to try to get to what they needed to, to remove it. So then the doctor proceeded to ask me, why do you want to get this done? Is it just a cosmetic issue? Is there feeling, is there pain? Like what's going on? And I let him know that I wanted to join the police academy. So this is another reason why I did want to go ahead and post this video is because of all the stuff that's going on right now. Um, not to get political or anything. I don't want to share any personal views on that just because that's just not not the time and place for that, <laughs> but I did want to join the police academy. I wanted to be, um, you know, I, I wanted to be 
there was a lot of reasons why I wanted to join the police academy. Now this was a year ago, so obviously this was before any of this stuff happened. Um, but I wanted to be a part of the bigger picture. I wanted to be, um, I wanted to provide service to the community. Um, and I just wanted to be in the position to help other people. So it wasn't about being a hero. It wasn't about, um, the uniform. I mean, all those things are definitely facets of it, but anywho. <laughs> so he basically told me, absolutely not. Yes, baby. So the doctor essentially told me, absolutely not. You can not even think about joining a police force or anything like that because if I were to get hit hard enough uh, with a baton, getting in a fight, um, even in a car accident, dead. So because the, if it was a hard enough impact, there's so many blood vessels and veins there um, that, I mean, emergency services, by the time they got there, even if they were already on scene, basically I would already be gone. There's no saving me. Um, and so likewise, he told me that there was absolutely no way that he would be willing to do the surgery uh, either way and that there would have to be so many different types of doctors in the room, different anesthesiologists for different situations that may occur, and basically that he would end up killing me uh, <laughs> if he were to even investigate this area. Basically think of it as a spaghetti plate of noodles, and this is a spaghetti plate, and the lump is all of the noodles being blood vessels and veins. So to think about that extent of amount of blood vessels and veins there, one slip, if he didn't, if he wasn't able to cauterize one of them um, or all of them to try to remove that, gone. You wanna be in my video? Wanna say hi? Okay, now the AC is turned back on, so hopefully you can hear me. I'll finish this up here, but we'll have to do some more of this corn later. I feel like you probably won't be able to hear me as I'm shucking that it's so dry. <laughs> So yes, so basically the doctor told me there's absolutely no way I'm going to touch your cheek at all. There's no way I would do surgery. There'd have to be so many different types of doctors and anesthesiologists in there um, because of all the different scenarios of things that could happen. And I'm just not willing to do that. And I can guarantee you because I know a lot of people in the state, um, doctor wise, that they will not do this either. This is very risky. Pretty much I can guarantee if you were to, to find a doctor who would be willing to do this for you, you are going to die. <laughs> so, so that's the situation with my cheek. Um, I don't know, he, he did say that the best way to, to describe it would be a hemangioma. Now if it's a true hemangioma or not, not it's, it's not one of the more typical, I guess, common types where you see the redness. Um, but that it is a bunch of blood vessels and veins there. So yeah, I thought I would just kind of answer that question. I also wanted to, you know, kind of let you guys know where I've been for the last year. Um, I've, I kind of went through a lot of depression because of this. Um, so, you know, last year was my year of like self care in a sense. Um, I was gonna get LASIK because I do have contact, so I worried that if I made it through Academy and I was out, if I'd lost a contact, you know, that's a really scary situation. Um, so I was gonna get LASIK, and then I was obviously gonna get this looked at, knowing that I pretty much knew already that if I got hit there, you know, it wouldn't be good news, but I didn't realize how serious it was. Um, and I mean, I'd spent months researching the police academy, what to expect, workout routines, um, just anything and everything about going through a police academy. Um, I talked to police officers here in the area and I just really did my research up and down, left and right, like all over. And I had fully decided that this was what I wanted to do. Um, I work with nurses every day and I see them start, you know, nursing school day one, and they leave being those unsung heroes, you know, or at least having the potential to be. 
And again, it's not so much that I wanted to be a hero or even try to be a hero, like that's not the goal. It's just to serve the community, to be that change in the world that you wanna see. Um, and then to be told, absolutely not, there's no way, don't even think about it. Um, it was really hard. It was really, really hard for me. Hello, Giant Bee. Um, and so, you know, it was a lot to swallow. It's one of those things, I'm sure you've been in that situation where you have been told, no, you can't do that. And it just pushes you in that direction even more. You want to do it even more. You're, you've been told you can't do that. You're not going to be successful. And you, it just makes you want to even that much more. And I'm not saying that I would have made it through the academy. I'm not saying that had I made it through the academy, I would have been happy. Um, I'm not saying that if I was in a situation where, you know, specifically there was child abuse or something like that, that I would be able to stay in a position like that. But when you start looking at all the things that outweigh those horrific things that happen all the time when you're a part of that bigger picture when you're there serving the community when you're you know my my whole goal was to be a student resource officer and I wanted to be there for the kids I wanted to show kids that you know women are strong there's I mean there's a ton of female officers so I'm not saying I'm some magical component that there's <laughs> no female officers you know out there but that you know being a woman you can be strong you can stand up for what you believe in you can make your dreams happen you can serve others you can be strong you can fight a fight like you can you can um, you can do it whatever you want to do you can follow your dreams but yeah, so so again, that's another reason I need to open the sandbox. So anyways, so that's what's what's up with my cheek. Uh, it's not a tooth abscess. It's not a wisdom teeth being just being pulled. Um, you know, it's it's just blood vessels and veins that never really filtered through my face. So. And again, if you're wondering about like sensation or anything, um, I do get those questions. Yeah, I still have full feeling, just the same as you would on your cheek. Um, and and it's it's squishy. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are curious about for it. Um, but as you hopefully continue to watch my future videos, and you do see that, um, now you know what it is. So, so that's that. So I, I'm over the depression part. It's been a year. Uh, I do appreciate if you guys subscribe, if you're here to just hang out. Uh, I know that this, this new channel is focused on gardening. So I appreciate all you new subscribers who are here for garden tips. Um, I hope that I was able to maybe answer the question if you had a question about my cheek and didn't want to say anything trust me I've, I've I really I've heard it all so um, yeah don't feel bad for wondering or anything like that but again thanks you guys for hanging out and um, we'll see you in the next video Hi. say see you later see you see it say see you in the next video see you in the video So cute. You're so cute. Mm -hmm.